these are some of the materials that we use here at the wound care center for uh, wound care. Um, you still want to clean the wounds with normal saline and pat them dry with 4x4s four four, four before you use any of the materials that we have here. This is Panafil. Uh, Panafil is a papain urea with chlorophyll in it. It is a healer, a debreeder, and a deodorizer. Um, this is good for any stage 2's or 3's that have some slopping on them. Uh, the way we use them here is um, depending on how the wound looks. If it's a superficial, you want to get it and just smear it on the wound bed itself. If it's a cavernous wound, then you do want to get it to where it's just going to be right on top and into the wound bed. This is awesome stuff. Another one, another product that we use is called Accuzyme. Accuzyme is just a papain urea. It's similar to the Panafil, except it does not have the chlorophyll. With Accuzyme, you want to make them a daily dressing change, whereas Panafil you can do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The reason you want to make Accuzyme um, a daily dressing change is because Accuzyme does not distinguish between good tissue or bad tissue. And so it'll really debris, but at the same time it'll take care of the good tissue also, and we don't want that. Again, with the uh, Accuzyme, you do not want to pack it. All you want to do is apply a film on the wound bed itself. And again, this will be a daily dressing change. Another product that we use here is called Iodazorb. Iodazorb is a Codexumer iodine. It is an iodine-based dressing, but the iodine does not release unless there's infection going on in the wound. This one looks nasty. Um, this one here you can use on any type of wound. We use it here. It'll, de it'll debreed it, but at the same time it absorbs drainage. So if you have a, a, a wound that's draining a lot, this is perfect for it. When you change a dressing after you've used iodas or you'll notice that the color is nice and brown. When you change the dressing, um, if there's a lot of drainage in it, the iodine will release from it and into the wound and this will get white and powdery. Um, again, you can fill a, a cavernous wound with this using it in conjunction with uh, calcium alginate and uh, it works really well. One of the products that we have here in our clinic that we do ourselves is called ABBA and it is an antibacterial biofilm agent. And you use that the same way except with these wounds with this um, cream here, we use it on wounds that have been uh, already been debrided. Uh, what it does, it keeps biofilm from actually forming back on the wound bed, and it um, allows the healing process to begin. Um, if you'll notice, it's a nice, pretty purple. And what you want to do with this, whenever you use it, you just apply a thin, fil a thin layer over the wound bed and cover it with your foam, whatever foam that you use in your practice. And this will be a daily dressing change. Iodazorb can also be daily or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This one is definitely daily and only daily uh, because of uh, the chances of it to uh, tear up the wound bed. This is another product that we use. It's called Hydrofera Blue. This is another product. It's called Hydrofera Blue. It's a bacteriostatic wound dressing. This has two different types of um, dressings in it. It's methylene blue and crystal violet, which was used in the old days. And somebody decided they were going to get smart and put them together into a sponge. Now if you notice with this, it's very hard. So what you need to do with this here is you'll cut the, the blue to fit directly into the wound bed. You don't want it to lap over onto any good tissue because it will macerate the bed. So once you get it cut to whatever wound size it is, you want to activate it or soak it down with normal saline. Once you soak it down with normal saline, give it about 10 seconds for it to soak through and then you want to squeeze the ex excess water out of it, the excess water out of it. You don't want it too wet, but you don't want it too dry. The way this blue works, if you notice, is real soft now. The way this blue works, um, as it's drying on the wound bed, it'll start turning white. When you pull it off, you're actually, you've actually debrided the wound bed. This material here has been known to kill, I believe, 98% of bacteria known to man, including MRSA and um, Pseudomonas, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this will be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday dressing change. You can leave it on there. I believe it's made for a three to five day dressing change. Um, this works really well. This is another 
product that we use here. This is called Acticode. Acticode is an antimicrobial dressing or a bacterial static dressing. And the same thing with the Acticode. Acticode is a silver based dressing. Silver was used a lot for infection back in the day and it's coming back. Now if you'll notice this, the uh, Acticode is several layers and it does have a gray side and a blue side. There's a lot of questions as to which side you actually put down to the wound and it does not matter which side you put to the wound. Uh, the thing with Acticode, if the, the, the wound is not draining a lot, you do want need to activate it. And what we use is sterile water to activate it. Uh, the reason we use sterile water is because normal staining will actually make the silver ions bind to themselves. Um, so we don't use this, um, the saline. Another thing that we use this with, we use it in conjunction with the, with the ABBA. And the way you use the ABBA with this is you can actually just smear the ABBA on the silver itself and then place it directly on the wound. That way you use the anti-biofilm agent with the bacterial static and taking care of infection at the same time and allowing the healing process to continue. These are some of the, just some of the products that we use here at the Wound Care Center. And if there's ever any questions as to how to use these products, you can always reach us at 806-793-8869. Um,